Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing Man. I'm back again with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC man. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. Share the video as always, please. Um, man, you know I'm coming at y'all with another one, another jab, a late night jab. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. I'm just gonna leave it to the early morning jab, man. That's what I'm gonna leave it at. I think that's that's better. But anyway, I'm just, you know, shooting a little shit. You know what I mean? But uh let's let's talk about this Danny Garcia and Brandon Rios press conference, man. Let's let's just talk about it a little bit. Um you know, it it wasn't boring, you know. It was a little bit of in a, it was a little entertaining. You know, I ain't gonna lie, you know it I, I watched the whole thing, so, you know, it was a little sugar and spice in there. And, uh, you know, I want to talk about y'all cousin, man, y'all boy, Delusional Danny, man. Uh, You know, Danny, you know, even though Danny Danny got money and all this stuff, he let it be known. He's not very, he's not uh bashful by uh saying that either, man. He He's very upfront with it. You know, it ain't no secret. He lets you know he lives good and all that, you know. But uh, they was asking Danny about, you know, the loss to Keith Thurman and all that. And Danny was basically, he replied and said that, what loss? He said, I ain't take no, he said, in life, I didn't take no L. He said, look at the way I'm living. I live good. I got plenty of money. You know, I got the mansion. I got this, my family good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, uh... <clears throat> So, you know, Danny, he, and he said at the end of the day, he felt like he won that fight. You know, he the only one, him and his dad, the only one feel like they won that fight. I don't really, you know, hear nobody saying that Danny won that fight. Danny know he didn't win that fight. Um, do I think the fight will be better next time? Hey, I don't know, man. We'll see. Most likely. Most likely we'll see because I'm pretty sure Thurman going to fight Danny again anyway. But, uh... You know, he just, you know, Danny, Danny, uh, trying to throw his weight around with his money. I ain't mad at him. You know, I'm, hey, man, I'm happy for you, man, Danny. You know, you got a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, I ain't hating on him at all. You know, the brother damn sure living uh, well, way better than me. That's for damn sure. So, uh, a little more power to him, but. You know, I'm just I'm just trying to understand his his uh state of delusional uh delusional uhness, you know, just Danny being denial about you know, uh losing fight well, you know, his just the whole fact that he lost to Keith Thurman. You know, he ain't got past that yet. You know, I wonder I wonder if, if that kinda played on uh Danny's psyche a little bit. You know, uh, cause he still ain't he ain't he ain't never admit that he lost that fight. And Danny, you lost that fight. You know, it's true. Yeah, you want to say he ran? Yeah, he's talking about Keith Thurman ran around and all this other stuff. See, that's the thing, man. I'm sick of hearing these fighters say guys running and all this stuff. Man, that's listen, man. Using footwork and stuff. That's all a part of boxing. That's just bottom line, man. Y'all know that. Y'all knew that when y'all signed up. That's come on, man. Let's 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 be let's be real about this. So, you know, now they they're doing this whole running thing, and everybody want to complain when they lose that the, the guy ran to beat him and all this other crap. So that that excuse is whack, man. Let's let's not do let's not do this in 2018 with the whack running excuses. You know, Danny, you lost fair and square. You didn't turn up the pressure. You know, you 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 folded up early in the fight. You know, you did good in the second half. You did better, but you didn't do enough. You didn't do really do too much of anything. You just it was a a, a managed uh you managed the fight to keep it. You know, within within not even it wasn't even debatable. It was just like okay, yeah, you you still lost though type shit, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, this, I don't know, Danny, 
I don't, I don't know. I just want to see how I just want to see how Danny fights uh, Brandon Rios. I want to see how this whole. I hope it just be a good fight. I know it's gonna be probably be a war, most likely. You know, I don't think Danny's gonna move around too much. I think he's gonna move around in spots, but I don't see him just boxing the whole single. I, then again, I don't know, man. Who knows? Maybe he wants to secure the victory. We we never know until we see. You know, uh, and uh, they was talking to Rios, and Rios, you know, was basically saying that he don't know any, he don't know Danny. They don't know each other personally. This is the first time they, you know, met each other. And you know, it's basically they finna fight each other, so it's you know, f each other. And uh, they they asked they asked since Angel wasn't there, uh, what did he say or whatever? And Danny said, you know, he you really want to know what he said? And he started laughing. He's like, no, nah, I'm just joking with y'all. But he was for real because Angel left him a text message, and Angel told him, you know, basically, I love you even though I'm not there with you. I'm just paraphrasing. I'm not quoting because it's not exactly what he said, but he, you know, just paraphrasing. He was like, uh, I'm I love you, you know, I'm, I'm not there with you, blah blah blah, and. I am there, you know, in the spiritual sense. He said, tell the media to suck my dick. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, that's what it was. I know he said that because that's the type of shit Angel says. And, you know, they was asking Robert questions and, you know, about what he thought about Danny. None of the other stuff, man. But, you know, I want to hop, hop off you know, to the next fight with Ronald Greville and, and David Bonavidez, man. Uh, not to just, you know, change lanes so so briefly, but we're going to hop back over. Um, you know, David Benavidez seems more confident this fight, this time around. He said he's going to make a more clear cut. He's going to knock out Ronald Greville, you know, and, and that's that. And Graville said he can do things, you know, different, a little better this time. And he just said he's going to do things better. He didn't say he was going to. I don't recall him saying he was going to knock out Benavidez. I heard Benavidez really talking about the knockouts. So uh, I don't know, man. I'm interested to see that fight. And I'm going to be totally honest with y'all, man. I kind of fell asleep during around about the seventh or the eighth round of that fight. You know, I dozed off a little bit, so I kind of got sidetracked. But I had to, it was kind of close. It was hard for me to score, if I can recall. Because I, I, I recall certain parts of the fight. It was close. I didn't really, I thought that I had Benavidez up slightly. But um, when I, when I woke up, or when I, whenever I just, the fight was over with, they were saying that uh, Benavidez won, and it was a robbery, and then Benavidez got knocked down. I didn't even see the knockdown. That's why I, in and out I was, you know, but um, I can't wait to see that fight. February 14th, man, the big showdown, uh, Danny Garcia, uh, fuck, Brandon Rios, Ronald Greville, and um, David Benavidez, but uh, I believe it's going to be a good fight, man. I believe this fight going to be a good, a good fight, real talk. You know, uh, I can guarantee Danny Garcia ain't taking nothing less than a million dollars for this fight. I bet anything he is getting guaranteed million dollars for this fight. Probably a little more than that. I can guarantee that. You know, he walking away with a million after taxes and all that, not to be in his pockets or whatever, because I don't really care about that. But I'm just saying, I I can I can I know. So how Danny been moving, you know, he's very business savvy, you know, and uh, and that's that's a fact, you know, he's not making no 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 nonsense ass moves if it ain't making the the proper dollar sense, you know, he just won't. I don't, Danny ain't gonna fight too much longer, I don't think. You know, he talking like he want to take over, he finna take back over and. You know, he's a dangerous Danny all over again when, when he got a chip on the shoulder again and, you know, all the stuff. So we're going to see. We're going to see how hungry Danny really is because I don't think Danny is as hungry as, as he's saying he is all over again. I don't, I don't think so. 
they ain't done got a, a, a little bit too much taste of the of the decent amount of bread, the good life, and I don't think he can really step back to uh, starving status. You know, I'm ta- I'm not talking about literally starving status. Um, you know, his finance. I'm talking about as far as like the mentality, how he's training, how he's, you know, the whole nine. I I mean, to be honest with you, we gonna see time and tell. I ain't gonna just count Danny out like that as far as, you know, judging his character. We're gonna see. In due time we're gonna see. Um Brandon Rios uh I wanna I'm I'm just I'm leery, you know, with I'm just, I'm literally, I, I, I didn't really see too much of the fight of him and the other dude. I seen a little bit of it. I didn't see anything spectacular that I see he improved on too much that I can recall. But the only, I'm, the thing I'm, I'm leery about with, with, with uh, Brandon Rios is that, um, what's, where him and Robert status is, are they jokey, jokey friend, friend again? Or are they really fight a trainer? You know, I want to know what's the status with them, where they at, you know, how serious he is. Because when he was with uh, Juan F- Ricky Funes, he was more serious. You know, the jokes cut down tremendously. Every time I seen Brandon Reels, he was training, you know. But uh, now he back in a little bit of giggle mode again. So I don't know. But we'll just see, man, how this all, this whole thing play out. I can't wait to see, you know, the whole breakdown, the bust down. And uh <clears throat> oh, and Danny Garcia was talking about uh man, you know what? I'm gonna leave that for a whole nother uh video. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. Fuck it, man. Danny Garcia was talking about that he 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 fight Earl Spence. They asked about Earl Spence, and he was like, "Well, I'll fight Earl Spence," you know, but. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about was he sincere. And this is how I know if you really, really listen to this video, because you're going to leave a comment about that, what I just said. Was Danny Garcia sincere? Do you think he was sincere about Earl Spence uh, when, they asked, when they asked about fighting Earl Spence? That's how I would know if you really, really listen to the video, if you answer that question. But this your boy JB Trap House Boxing Man, I'm gone.